McLeod. Well, I bet he's fired up after his performance in the semi. He won it impressively. Basco couldn't get back to him. There it is. Adams, Lovett, Eaton, Martin Lagarde, McLeod, Basco, Budgie, and Brathwaite. Two Americans, two French, a Jamaican, a Bayesian, a Hungarian, and a man from uh, the British Virgin Islands. Eddie Lovett, whose personal bests were set when he had an American passport. So his uh, British Virgin Islands uh, bronze medalist last year. He's actually quite a good 400 meter hurdler, Brathwaite. He's run 50.9. Martino Lagarde, powerful customer. On your marks. Deep in focus, all these eight men as they're called to their blocks. France took silver and bronze two years ago through Martino Lagarde and uh, Garfield Darion. Andrew Bozzi of Britain took uh, fourth place on that occasion. He's the only athlete, though, Martino Lagarde from the 2014 final in this final in Portland. So the lineup once again, Spencer Adams of USA in one, Eddie Lovett of Virgin Islands in two, Eaton of USA three, Martin Lagarde four, McLeod of Jamaica five, Basco France six, Baji Hungary, Hungary seven, Brathwaite Barbados lane eight. Seven. Away without any trouble, really good start there from McLeod in the yellow Jamaica. The rest chasing at the moment, coming through strongly, Jared Eaton on the far side, McLeod takes it, Martin Lagarde second, and I think it was Eaton who took the bronze, but boy, oh boy, look at the time, 7.41 from Omar McLeod. That's a big new personal best. And once he came out of the blocks, got to that first hurdle smoothly, well, the race was almost done and dusted because he had about a half meter lead, and that's a big margin in the early stages of an event like this, and they couldn't get back to him. Martin Oligard, again, not great out of the blocks, although maybe it was accentuated by uh, McLeod's brilliant start here. Jamaica take gold in the 400 meter hurdles. A world leading time, 7.41. It matches Bascu's top of the rankings time from uh, Berlin back in middle February. What a start again. It was almost a carbon copy, wasn't it, at the semi-final. Martin Lagarde, made to look ordinary, really, by McLeod. And what a dip there. Bascu and Martin Lagarde on the dip for bronze and silver. Here's the start again. Absolutely lightning. And Bascu as well, made to look very ordinary. Accentuated by the camera angle, but McLeod coming through, and they never got back to him, the French pair. Thoroughly deserved. Such powerful sprinting from McLeod. Now, who got it on the dip? Was it Martin Lagarde or was it Bascu? Well, McLeod takes it from Martin Lagarde and Bascu, the French, as two years ago, taking silver and bronze. The gold eludes them once more. Jared Eaton and Spencer Adams, the two Americans, in fourth and fifth. He's perfectly built, isn't he, for the indoor 60-meter hurdles, is uh, Omar McLeod. He's squat and powerful, very quick out of the blocks. And frankly, as I said, I think that's where he virtually had the race won. All he had to do was execute correctly, and I do hate that word, but execute correctly through the over the flights of hurdles, and uh, he would stay ahead. But over the 110-meter hurdles, well, he's a growing force, is uh, Omar McLeod. And I wonder just how powerful he will be this coming summer. Well done to him. Went into this full of confidence, of course, after that win in his semi-final. And he says, every race I go to the hurdles and I talk to the hurdles, I say, you're my baby, just be quiet and give me a clean race. Well, he could hardly have run a more perfect race than that one. He's won pretty comfortably there. 7.41 for the Jamaican McLeod to 7.46 by Pascal Martineau Lagarde, who takes silver yet again. There it is clear daylight between McLeod and the rest of them. Americans on this occasion, despite their strength and depth in this event, on the outdoor longer event in fourth and fifth, just outside the medals.